Who no like better thing? Like, who no like better thing? Not me. Definitely not me. <laughs> What's the best thing you think you've had in your life so far? My my family. That's the mm. best thing That's I deep. think I've had. Yeah, definitely the best thing I've had. My family. My sanity. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a cold world yeah, and a hard world. Like so if my, you are my able sanity, to hold your sanity yeah, in check. It's the, it's the best <laughs> thing I've had in my life so far. It's not even about the money, but the fact that I am still able to differentiate between right and oh, wrong, yeah. Yeah. get my sanity right, try to fix my life, know that I have goals, aspirations, things like that. It may not be working out, but I have, you know, a destination. Well, yeah, so it is my sanity for me because, man, Nigeria, we know we bow for Nigeria. <laughs> at all. <laughs> I told, you see what I was saying? I told you guys, yeah. that's going to be like, like a, a catchphrase. Major, yeah, catchphrase. Once that's yeah, all drops, it's going that. to be a catchphrase. Mm -hmm. We know we for Nigeria. At at Oh no, okay. no traffic will make you bow. Like, like, I've had my sanity for two days. I'm now. telling no you, no traffic. Like, yes, that's no. like, that's like bliss. Do you know what it means? Are you sure this is the same Lagos? I'm, I'm, I'm like, getting to work in 15 minutes. A journey that takes me 50 minutes. I got to work in under an hour yesterday, and I spent under an hour. Under an hour, and I spent. Uh, how many almost, hours did you spend in normal day? Almost two hours. I've spent over two hours. And then you spent. Under an, an hour, hour. Yes. that is your journey to work every day is like 30, 45, 50 minutes. Yes, it's without traffic. Yes, it is the it's your sir. <laughs> it, it's your local cool government. <laughs> is that where you stay? Well, I stay in a job, but when you it's your sir, you, what's your village. local government? It cannot be a tiosa. Is that your sir? Your local government yes. is a tiosa. I, I think so, yes. No, you have to be a Tioku. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be a Tiosa. How can you be spending that <laughs> you long? You know, I've told you people this thing. People are living the life, not that traffic. I, and I, I feel, feel like I stay a lot far. You can like, imagine. You can imagine the struggle to get here on time. See? Oh, um, you did try, my guy. Give me. Give I me beg. my flowers while I'm alive. You, you have got to see. <laughs> show you. you see, all the flowers on your shirt, like that shoe. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> 45 minutes without yeah. traffic. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, from, from my junction, is like 30 something minutes. From my junction. So, from your house to your junction, it's, about 40 it's like 15 minutes. No, your house to your junction? Like 6 minutes. Oh wow. Okay. About 6 minutes. Ha. Oh my god, trying, you know, my sister. But oh, yes, we, we still want to move further down, please. <laughs> we want to come closer. I want to, <laughs> I want to spend five minutes to work. Right. In fact, what do you mean, five minutes? I want to just trek. I don't need, I don't want cars no more. Like, I want to just be living on this street here. Yeah. <laughs> just stroll and come I to work. I just body that But in fact, you go and make food. Which one is buying food every day? You go out sharply. Right, you take you go your make break. noodles. <laughs> you go come back <laughs> out. <laughs> Hey, TV. I think we spend so much money. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the first story of the day. And this one is on <clears throat> Ghanaian Nollywood actress, and, um, Jul which is Juliet Ibrahim, has revealed that her boyfriend locked her up and raped her for days. She narrated that while he was raping her, the boyfriend was smiling. And when she told him it was rape, he said they were in a relationship. She said, when I told him it was rape, he said, but we're in a relationship. I didn't say yes. I was in the mood. He pinned me down and was doing whatever he wanted. He was smiling. I told him he is a rapist. I fought my way out of that relationship because he even locked me in his house for days. It was my sister, Sonia, that came to find me. I was scared. I panicked because he was huge and taller than me. He raped me for days. <laughs> I mean, one time. Now we're talking about for days. But you know, in Nigerian law, you know, now I know this is we're talking about a relationship, but mm -hmm. I feel it is stemming of the fact that you know there is nothing like marital rape in our laws. So I mean, no, if there you're, is. there, it's there is there is no law. Like, it's not an offense. There, you, you cannot assume. I actually had to go and read up about it earlier today. Like There is. You can rape your wife. Except she's not up to puberty. You can't. If she's up to puberty, it's not considered as rape. Mm -hmm. So I feel it's stemming of that fact. Yeah. I, I know this for a fact. Like, it's okay. stemming of that fact that he's uh, saying we'll in a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I actually did read. So it's stemming of that okay, fact so, that people say... You. Yeah, people say... I'm your wife now, or you're my wife now, so how can I rape my wife? I mean, we, when we got to the altar, we got married and everything, so how will you tell people that I raped you? So I feel it is coming off that fact that he just said that. And 
if in like for a certain this is just like the mindset of everybody mm -hmm. i feel like it is high time that a, a, a law is put into place concerning this because most people just go of the fact i mean we're talking about we we saw this um story where a lady said she arrested her husband because um he i think he slapped her or something and when she got there what were people what, what were people saying our fellow nigerians already saying that it's your husband so why are you arresting him for something like that and everything so i'm, I'm like is it that we give leeway to some of these things mm. to happen and for some of these women to go through these things and Going to report then seems like a big deal because, I mean, who's going to take it serious? Mm. Like, mm. who's going to take it serious? Who's going to believe and everything? So, in the law, it says, okay, except you are not up to puberty. That mm. is when it is considered as rape. You, you've confirmed it, right? Mm -hmm. So, except... No, 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 but the penal code, the penal code, yeah. which is also standing, recognizes that the criminal law doesn't, but the penal code does. So, if I go to a police station and I told my husband rape me, would According they take According to the serious? penal code... Yes, you can be. He can be prosecuted. He can. Yeah. Because According to the penal code. Why, we are talking about as a law, a standard law in Nigeria. If I go to the police station and I tell them, say of my course, husband, even wait, if it tells say if you go police station, go say my husband beat me, and say, then go ask, you, say, what do you do? Do you get? That's the first thing a police like, officer would even get? ask. Oh, what do you say do? Why him beat you? Why you know like who word, cares? Like, who cares about what about she did? Do you understand? Like, who cares about what she did? The, the woman came with black eye, swollen face, and then the first thing you're asking her, what did you say? What do? did you do? It's, it's you just like how they ask rape victims, what were, what you, were you doing? Wearing? What were you wearing? Where Why were you, were you there? Why Why were you do you understand? Exactly? Like, such questions, yeah. So, for me, right, for me, in as much as, um, you know, I'm on Juliet's side. Of course, if she says she has been raped, she has been raped. My problem with Juliet is that I remember our book. I read the book to cover life. to cover. Yeah. A Toast to Life. I was at the book lunch at um, Oriental or something. And all of that, like, I was there. I covered this. This same story was in that book. She came on Tea Time. She said the same story. She's gone to several interviews. She said the same story. So and this guy okay. is still walking free. Do you know how many other women is probably doing it too? Like, can you just call out this guy for you, crying you, out you loud? See, you see where I'm going? Because if it was set in stone, if it's something that we take very, very serious, he won't be walking free. Do you get? But we because take we it seriously. People, no, I'm talking like about rape. Not the law. Of course, we take we the citizens. We are we are always the one garnering that see this. But at least, can we call the person out? Can he come out to defend himself? Can well, he say something? To, she has refused to say who it was. So. I know that you know rape victims do not and no pressure on any of them. It is when you are bold enough. You remember the Nigerian girl that went to um, where was it Kigali, yeah. where she was raped by she was almost raped. By the yeah, security yeah. guard. Do you remember this, that story? The, the last story. Yeah, that the last story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, she was almost raped and everything. This girl was in therapy for a year. She wasn't able to speak. She was still traumatized from the event. But she just spoke up this year. And we're still taking us seriously. Do you understand? Like, things are being done. People are being fired. People have lost their jobs. You just, you just are, have to drop so you in have to. You have to tell us. If you're no, going to but I feel like it is when she's comfortable. Maybe she's it. not comfortable to speak up because I've been to the comment section. I'm also of the opinion, like, come on. You've been just telling tell us. us. Just tell us who this person is. And the fact that she says this person is Nigerian. Oh. You didn't know that part, right? No. <laughs> yeah. She says this guy is Nigerian. Do you understand? She's a Ghanaian woman accusing a Nigerian, Nigerian man. A lot of people actually thought it was a last relationship which was to yeah. Iceberg Slim. But with this new description, he has been it's vindicated obviously. because Iceberg Slim is a shoddy. Say what you like. Ah. Uh. <laughs> It's, but, it's just sad that a lot of these things, when we talk about them, we talk on social media, we clamor for justice and everything, and at the end, it's just swept to the side as if nothing happened. And I feel at the same time, yeah, I'm, I'm glad she's actually speaking about it, but I'd, like you said, it, it has to get to a point where she's very comfortable releasing um, the identity of the person. And I feel at that point, justice has to be served because you can't really, she's, she's making claims, she has not directly accused anybody, so you can't just try to hound her and force her to say okay was it this person so we have to actually wait till she's comfortable but 
I can only imagine how traumatizing going through mm. something like mm. that is. Imagine, we're but talking about like a lot of women. You know, see, yeah. now this is the narrative I don't want to put out there, you know, for people to start feeling like, oh, the law won't take you seriously. People won't take you seriously. Yes. Then they don't come out. I don't want to push that narrative. Can they not take you seriously, but can you speak your truth? Like, that's what I keep telling women. Like, if you feel like a man is so violating So other people can you, be wary of that yes, person. If, like, I, if, if anything... Just come and speak up. Call his name. Let people ask you, you two, are you sure? But you people are dating now. Let them talk. Let them talk. But at least... The next happens, person will be wary yeah, the him. next person will be wary. And then if it happens with the next person, she will also come out to talk. And when they say there's no smoke without fire, yeah. by the time the second third person comes out to talk, you, you the guy, have to, we yeah, we'll have to look into it. Do you get what I mean? Like, we would actually take it seriously. But, you know, big shout out to all the women out there, the yeah. ones who are in very toxic relationships. But, you know, I have to stay there and I have to still endure. Well, you really don't have to endure because you deserve oh. to enjoy. So please, you know, speak up, speak your truth and do your thing.